coming up on this episode of The Village Idiom. But Ed Sheeran loves uh, the Lucky Charms, in particular the thanks, horseshoe thanks, and the rainbow. Thanks for sharing, Sheeran. No, yeah, he loves the the horseshoe and the, of all the marshmallows, he loves the horseshoe and the rainbow because he's in love with the shape of you. <laughs> dum, dum, da, da, village Idiom. Hello and welcome to The Village Idiom. We are a podcast that every week we choose a popular saying, take an admittedly shallow, hopefully comedic, once in a while interesting, if we're lucky, educational, dive into its meaning, its usage, its origins, but mostly we're going to use it to hang our otherwise directionless conversation on. My name is uh, Jurassic Mark. Bask in his greatness. Whose? Yours. In my greatness. Bask in it. Uh, All right. (laughs) Don't What's you, happening right now? Don't you feel like basking in your greatness? Why are you using the word bask so much? I just, I don't know. It just feels like one of those days where we're just to absorb you, just to take you in, in all of your magnitude and splendificence. I'm basking right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, whenever you say something unexpected in the intro, I think I'm, I think I have the wrong uh, idiom ready. Like, because I'm like, where's the segue to today's idiom? I'm <laughs> just basking. I'm not, I'm not. Behold, <laughs> his largeness, his greatness, his grandness, his Jurassicness. Bask in his presence. I don't know. I don't know either. Dirt, well, you know, it's like when something bask. is. <laughs> What's up? Are you a dirty old basker? Basker in the sun. <laughs> no, you know what? Something is like when things are just like terrible and gloomy, and then out comes something so magnificent that changes everything. Oh, there it is. There it is. Something. I feel like I'm basking right now. Oh, maybe this will help bring it all together, this little tidbit. I mean, maybe it's time to stop chasing rainbows, buddy. Chasing rainbows? Chasing rainbows. There it is. So bask threw me off. I'm picturing a a lizard on a stone basking in the sun. Oh, no, there's other ways to bask. Is there? I guess I don't bask enough. (laughs) It was like a few episodes back in in the buff. There's all sorts of ways. Is it always? It's always about the sun, though, kind of. I think you bask in this. Wow, do you only bask in the sun? Do we need a word just for that? When when you're lounging around in the presence of something so great, you bask in it. Wow, that's interesting. We use the word bask for <laughs> such a specific reason. I mean, when something is so in awe of it, you're bask in it. But when it's just is like that a, what you're doing? You're in awe of the sun when you're basking in the sun, or are you just laying in the sun? You're just like taking warm? it in. You're taking it you're in. You're like absorbing. Wow. Like a bounty toilet, like not toilet paper. What's the other? The bounty, like do you, the. Do you know where I really the, like kind to of wipe on the counter? The bounty paper towel. The quicker picker upper. It it does it bask? Does it or is that just suction? What is it? Oh, because it's taking it all in. Yeah. Oh. That's to it's not basking the then. connection. So it's not just taking it in. Okay. You know where my favorite place to bask is? In Robbins. Ro- in Robbins. <laughs> of course it is. Sound? Do you hear sound? Of course. It's our beautiful voices. I'm basking in yours. And just as this is a day to bask. When is you're that, at the office is that today. The furnace? Is that an airplane going by? It's so hard to say. Don't don't, don't let it get I think to it's you. just the appliances. We need a better studio. That's okay. We've had an infestation of crickets. We've had a fire, a flood. But the things have been like outside of that, been pretty good. Oh, it's very very basky lately. It's been good. Yeah, we can bask in our studio. So we are on day. What is it? Sixty eight of pure rain. Uh, is it actually? No, but it just feels like it. What? Ugh, I'm so frustrated. <laughs> I know. Where's our spring? Where's our notoriously forget the global rest of the warming? Year, forget the rest Stupid. of the year spring where the top comes off the Jeep, and but I, I mean, almost every day I look at a ten day forecast because it I can't literally even, I can't even wait rain. two or three days to see. Okay, now I'll look at a ten day for, forecast. I look every single day, and it's just rain, rain, rain. And then, then we have these days that are like. From noon till dinner time, beautiful. It's like but that's not what the weather. It's like says. the good Lord gave up when he was doing Vancouver and just like I'm gonna paint the sky. So just whatever, I'm done. Gray, <sighs> just gray. Just get everything left over and make it into a little mud pie. Our skies are gray, perpetually gray. It's it's, it's like depressing. It's what's, it's hard to bask. Our skies right are now. gray. That's what song is that? Oh, you are my sunshine. Hmm. My only sunshine. Well, there you go. You make me happy when skies are gray. And they have been. It's not making me happy. I just want to put the soft top on the Jeep. 
Uh, we were getting a hand signal from the other side of the glass there. What's happening? Do you need anything? I'm in here. I'm going to tell you it's done. Okay. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. it's... um. <clears throat> well, when I think of uh, like chasing the rainbows, the rainbow is, is really like uh, got a cultural thing to it right now. Uh, rainbows. Yeah, I never and- even thought about that when we were preparing. I guess I should have. I was just thinking of... Uh, well, when we used... We should talk about how it's used when you're chasing rainbow. You're, I, I wrote down a good old-fashioned internet version of a description. Uh, nope, I didn't, but uh, I thought I did. Oh, well, oh, here it is. Pursuing illusionary goals or trying to achieve impossible things. That is chasing rainbows. Mm-hmm. Well, rainbows of, like, in... Um, oh, oh, just a, a note from our producer. Pretty awesome. Thank you. Wanting us to make sure uh, we remind you to uh, get HelloFresh. It's been a while, and uh, they're looking for a plug, or they're going to stop sending us uh, free stuff. And so uh, we'd hate for that to happen. That's for sure. So if you'd like a, a trial, absolutely. Reach out to us. We will hook you up with a free week of HelloFresh. Yep. And so uh, if you, that, that would be great. Thanks for bringing that up. So uh, it's, um, <clears throat> and so the whole rainbow thing has really been grabbed on by uh, the gay, lesbian, LGBT, plus, yep. plus IA hashtag community and so it's uh but that's like in, in my mind like just because of like uh background pieces i think of noah and rainbow well absolutely chasing rainbows yep chasing rainbows although uh so yeah we, we'll we'll talk we'll go even further back to the bible and that rainbow was god's promise uh, i could see why yeah, it's funny it's god's promise mm-hmm. to not flood the earth again or a symbol of his promise um and yet we just came out of complaining about our incessant rain here. It's like, come on, you promised. <laughs> you promised stop doing this. <laughs> you brought a rainbow. You promised. Okay, well, I can see, but I can see in terms of symbols to grab onto why the LGBTQ plus IAAP uh, hashtag really glommed onto it uh, as a symbol <clears throat> because yeah. it reminds you of when the sun comes out. And when, sure. you're, like, when your sun comes out, and then there you go. My son didn't come out. He's engaged to be married um, to a female, but yeah. no. When the sun comes out, as well. No, not your son. Oh, the, I you're the, talking about my son. No, no. When the sun comes out, then right. There's a rainbow. Mm-hmm. It's very fitting. Actually. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's a good point. See, so that's, that's why so, when when had, the sun comes out. Have you ever had you know the classic YouTube viral sensation of the double rainbow video? Mm-mm. What? The double rainbow. The guy's crying. I'm seeing a double rainbow. There's two rainbows. Uh-uh. What? I can't believe you. I don't spend. Mr. I don't me. spend much time on the internet. This is super old. No, I read like oh. all the time. And you didn't read about this? No. Anyway, have you ever seen a double rainbow? Oh, for sure. Okay. The vi- well, look the video up later. I wish if I had known you literally didn't know what I was talking about, I'd have it ready to play because it's hilarious. But I want. This is my most exciting rainbow story. Okay. I one time saw a rain ring. Like it, it. I saw the whole circle. The rainbow ring. So it yeah, wasn't a bow. It was it a rain ring. It didn't hit the ground. I was like, if I had had a cell phone when I saw it, it was pre phones and pictures hmm. and cam- not pre pictures. Pre pictures. Not pre cameras, but pre hold smartphones. That, hold that. <laughs> <laughs> Tapping on that that piece of stone. But yeah, there was a rain ring. A rain ring. Wow. No rainbow. A rain ring. It was a full circle, and, and I was just like. Uh, it never prior to that dawned on me that that was possible, but if, I guess it is. Like, that makes sense. Because well, it's just, you only see a rainbow because it's cut off by other things. I feel like my mic is a little funny. Does it sound okay to you? You're all good. You're hearing things today. Right. <clears throat> yeah, but like a, a, a rainbow is uh, is full circle, though, but it's cut off by the horizon, which right. is why so, you only see half. So are there places on this earth where it's more likely to see a rain full? What's... I don't like rain circle. I don't like rain ring. Hmm. Like, what's a rainbow times two? It's a rain... Rainbow, rainbow. Yeah. It's still a rain ring, isn't it? It's a rain ring. But you're just got... A rainbow. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway. It sounds like something to get your thighs in better shape. There's nothing... I don't think rainbows ever get old. Like, when you're a kid, you're excited to see rainbow. Did ever, like, go looking for the end of the rainbow? I am just as excited... To see when a rainbow comes out, 
like now it's 50 like years it's old. a rainbow I'm like look at the rainbow everybody look at the rainbow the uh the whole like rainbow it's like oh like leprechauns and chasing after gold and so you know that kind of like at the end of like uh of uh, of all things and um when when i think of like uh, leprechauns that guy on the lep- <laughs> that <happened> a lot <laughs> no, just whenever the- i'm thinking about leprechauns. no because uh, what popped in was that there was a recall recently on lucky charms Oh, I heard about this. Yeah, as Doc- I, doctors. Uh, I don't know what the reasoning was, but it was nothing dangerous. But it was creating green uh, stool. Oh no! So whatever, like there's so much dye, in dye it? mixture they changed up had a just a rash, not <clears throat> rashes, but it had a rash of doctor visits. With and green they finally poopies? pinned it down to uh, Lucky Charms. Have you been eating Lucky Charms? <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. So whatever change they made was. Uh, was Lucky Charms green poo? I heard. Uh, um, what's that? Uh, mu- music. Uh, oh. Ed Sheeran. He, he was uh, cause, like through all of this thing with the Lucky Charms. Um, he had some like uh, I don't know if he was one of the people who had green poo or whatever his thing was that ended up happening to him. But apparently, he is a Lucky Charms addict. Loves the Lucky Charms. Is that right? Apparently, so. Like that came up during this green poo thing. They're looking for anything, you know, like in the news. When fair enough, I don't know if Ed Sheeran had green poo, but Ed Sheeran loves uh, the Lucky Charms in particular, the thanks, horseshoe thanks, and the rainbow. Thanks for sharing, Sheeran. No, yeah, he loves the the horseshoe and the, of all the marshmallows, he loves the horseshoe and the rainbow because he's in love with the shape of you. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> wow, is that elaborate enough setup? I like the elaborate setup type okay. of joke. So you're that's fantastic. <laughs> you're welcome. But so was there anything to do with No, Lucky I don't know Charms? about Ed Sheeran's poo. <laughs> I just took it into a direction just so I could talk about Ed Sheeran's poo. And his love for the shape of you. His lo- yeah. That's pretty great. You're welcome. It it didn't need to be about poo for it to be about the shape of you. Well but that is Well, I had to work with what you gave for. me and yeah. and the and, and the whole doctor visit, so All I'm right. not sad. Of all Are things to talk about. No, no. <laughs> That's just completely fine to talk about in my book. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, I was going to play a game this week, but I, with, you know, the typical game of, of can you guess where this origin comes from? But I didn't have a lot of time, and I'm like, I feel like this is just one that you're going to potentially know anyway, so okay. I didn't do it. And, does it uh, involve Ed Sheeran? <laughs> it does. Or Leprechauns? It's, it's all about Lucky Charms. Okay, good. Well, I'm up on it then. But and and you know, as chasing rainbows, I, I couldn't find that many clips. The one I just played uh, was from <clears throat> I don't remember. I deleted it, but it was uh, it was that guy who, who who plays the blue man guy in in Arrested Development. Oh, David David uh, David Cross. David Cross. Yeah, he was the. Uh, I just can't think of what what movie I just played that from, but there was hardly any. So this one was from the Golden Girls, and it's literally the extent of clips I could find. I'm sure they're out there because it seems like that's pretty common. Um, chasing rainbows. chasing rainbows, chasing right? waterfalls. I know. Actually, <laughs> I was going to use that clip at the end, and it wasn't until I was looking it up that I'm like, "Oh, that's not rainbows. <laughs> it's waterfall. waterfalls." TLC. <laughs> Stupid. I figure around a misty waterfall, there might also be a rainbow. Makes sense. Yeah. Anyway, this is from Golden Girls. You like that one? Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's try it again. Oh, see, I just give up. I give up on all things technology. That's okay. Is it? Is it? I'll I'll take it. It's not even worth it anymore. Well, everyone loves a good golden girl. All right, here we go. Go off chasing rainbows. Unless it was that. that, that It's not even a girl talking. That was B. Arthur. (laughs) (laughs) Bernice Gerard. (laughs) Is Bernice Gerard a golden girl? B. Arthur's got a deep voice. That wasn't B. Arthur, but... Yeah, the, I couldn't find any clips. Rainbows. Do you recognize that guy's voice, mm-hmm. though? Uh, he's, um... Uh, this guy. I can't I can't see that far. Go so. off chasing rainbows. Oh, okay, I'm trying to think of what he's... He's, he's one of those guys that's in everything, but... Who knows what his name is. <laughs> yeah. Well, these are all uh, fruitful stories so far. <laughs> so, well, we should get into it. Rainbows make me happy. How about that? Rainbows do make me happy. Well, that's good. You know, I actually... I enjoy me a rainbow crosswalk. I like that they've added color around the city. They make me feel good. I think it's like good for like mental health, which when I think of mental health and a rainbow, oh, there you go. things that are like in a spectrum like that, I'm, I'm, they make, they lift you up. Yeah. I'll take it. 
I think it's coincidence that Rainbow and Rambo sound so similar. Hmm. It's got to be something. There. I think it's coincidence. God's promise. He sent us Rambo. <laughs> he provided. Ah, uh, forget it. Amen. <laughs> okay. I said some words. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? No Sometimes I wonder if we should know. start from the beginning. <laughs> Well, we did talk about how it's used. So it's pursuing illusionary goals, trying to achieve impossible things. <clears throat> and the term comes from the old tale, like we already kind of talked about, that if you find the end of the gold where, it, I mean, the end of the rainbow where it touches the earth, you'll find a pot of gold, mm. as as uh, the Irish legend goes. But um, the idea chasing rainbows uh, or being just a fruitless quest uh, goes not that, it's not that old. It's it, the 19th century. So, oh wow, yeah, I thought it would have gone, you know, a little deeper back. Than yeah, because they would have had rain both for a long time. Yeah, but um, and known that you can't catch it. <laughs> yeah, so like the first guy who tried it and couldn't catch it, he would have known. Do you think anybody actually tried, or is it just like? Have it, you never tried to find the end of the rainbow? How would you? You just head in the direction that you feel it is the end. Like you can clearly see it's hundreds of miles away, though. No, no, sometimes. No, sometimes you get them little tight ones. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never felt like, hey, I'm well, near... I know, near but I rainbow. haven't seen a round one. So we all have our thing, I guess. <laughs> it's like a four-leaf clover. Yeah, okay. Um, so <clears throat> literally, it comes exactly... like That's why I didn't play a game. It comes from the idea of chasing rainbows. You're, you're going after that pot of gold. Everyone around you knows that it's an impossible task. But you're like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to find it. I'm going to chase it. I'm going after this thing. And uh, and as fruitless as it is to try and find that pot of gold at the end of a rainbow, that is how literature and and general culture started referring to people with their minds set on that one impossibility as a rainbow chaser. Hmm. So, like, no specific date, no specific quote from a book, no specific person. It just... Uh, you know what I should have done? I just thought of now. I should have looked up the legend of... The so, pot of gold, and seeing how old that actually is. But uh, this this just came from of that. all atmospheric events to chase. Like it's a pretty tame one because there's. Do you remember Twister? Yeah, that was amazing. And like cows flying and oh, the movie. I yeah, think you made the game. No, well that would be amazing too. <laughs> I'm like it's amazing. I'm like all right, the cows flying. How, you play differently than me. <laughs> how do you play Twister? <laughs> yeah, so of all atmospheric. Uh, type phenomena that was the chasing rainbows the scene hey the cow like well i just think if it's, anything it's, anybody <laughs> quotes anything about that movie it's the cow it's the cow well it's just not as exciting if it's like uh you know like helen hunt rainbow chaser <laughs> yeah the storm chasers they, it was a great movie though yeah but if you're chasing rainbows it's like no one's funding that i uh i re- where, did you see that movie in the theater do you remember? No, I don't, I don't so think so. Actually, that movie imme- immediately triggers a memory. What's his name? Bill? What? Oh yeah, Pullman or Paxton? Paxton? No, it's, is it Pullman? <laughs> Paxton. I think Helen Hunt. Let's just stick with her. Helen Hunt and the cow. <laughs> the cow. Uh, the um, <laughs> the um, we were on tour with my band, and we were in uh, New Brunswick somewhere. And uh, we were doing a quick Praying stop. for a weather event to come take you up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, we were... That Moncton. Whole, we had this one... I think it was Moncton. That's funny. I think it was. Maybe it was further. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We were staying with... Me and one of the guys were staying with uh, a family. We were, we were being billeted. No hotels that night for mm-hmm. whatever reason. And uh, the the family that brought us in... Um, t- two things... I'll tell you two stories because another one just popped into my head. Wow. But the first one was that night he goes, I, I, I don't know if you, you, if you guys are tired. I don't want to assume you feel like hanging out with us. But um, if you do, I got something fun we could do. I'm like, okay. And you got to bear in mind, this is like, now everybody has access to this. Not back then. He's like, yeah, I work for the school board. And, I, and he rattled off all the specs of this projector he brought home. Okay. <laughs> so he's like, we'll connect the VCR to this projector <laughs> the VCR. and we'll make a 12 foot screen in the living room and watch I, I rented uh, Twister this is actually sounds so great neither of us had seen it we've got well, this that would projector be a fun night. in home never even heard other than 
like an actual film like moving pictures actual Crazy. film like projector in school like where they actually have to thread mm-hmm. the film um, mil. so yeah it was this moment where it was like I, I totally remember watching Twister. He had a stereo crack. It was like better than a theater experience. Yeah, that's more memorable for sure. Yeah, so it was great. Yeah, the whole house is rattling and, you know, it's a 12 foot screen, which is smaller than a theater, but you're only four feet away from it. <laughs> right. So it's four times as large. <laughs> yeah, so it's like. Inside your home, 12 feet is massive. So unrelated to Chasing Rainbows, Twister, New Brunswick, that same house, the next day they're like, ah, hey, we're both going to work. Uh, make yourself comfortable. And it wasn't a big home or anything. And he's like, you got to kind of cut through our bedroom to use the other bathroom. So uh, let me stop. Better yeah. ending. Uh, no one said you could come to the home. A realtor pulled up to the front and said, what are you guys doing in here? Oh, this that, house is haunted. That would have been a better ending. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and with your no ending. such movie as Twister. <laughs> go, go ahead with your no, crappy so ending. So Brad <laughs> snags the shower upstairs and I go through the couple's bedroom. Okay. And... That's just weird. Yep. Yeah. So already weird just entering the bedroom, but they said, go ahead, shower. <laughs> you can use the bathroom through there. And uh, it wasn't an ensuite. It was through there, like another room. Anyway, weird, weird layout of a house. But <laughs> as I enter their bedroom, you still do a knock. They said they were at work, but you're like, eh, I don't just know. in case. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Knock, knock. Okay, cut through. Uh, no, no snooping involved at all. I just look over and like eight by 10 or bigger picture. Of his wife, topless, framed on the side table of their bed. That's peculiar. And I'm like, I just watched Twister with her. Like, you don't you don't lay that down? You don't, like, lay it face down? I bet you afterwards, they're like, oh, no. Yeah, probably. Like, never anyone comes in. Probably. Like, because it was in your just, room like, is your business, right? framed. Back in the day, you had to get that picture, like, taken to Printed, photo, photo yeah, mart. It was, like, 8 by <clears> 10 framed on the side, like, end table. Like, I was... I was like, I was shocked that you would do that anyway. Forget that you invited a stranger to use the bathroom through the bedroom. Oh, but by the way, there was uh, I should have brought that up. An old school B- Betamax video uh, behind the mirror recording you <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the whole time. Probably. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, creepy. There was no chasing rainbows. <laughs> yeah, I definitely like my ending up better. <laughs> <laughs> it was that would be. I wanted to stop. That that was a good ending. <laughs> So I, I just quickly pulled up the legend behind pots of gold and rainbows. Do we have, even have time for this? Sure, where we really quickly. Let's see. The legend of pots of gold began when they oh, yeah. eventually departed the shores of Ireland, leaving some of their stolen gold behind. Folklore depicts leprechauns as mistrustful creatures who detest humans. Uh, but there's no. I wanted to know the year. Like how old is the story? That's, that's, uh, that's probably uh, follows along. Oh, so here we go. Vikings invaded Ireland in 795 AD, and that story came soon after. Hmm. So that is that makes sense. That maybe chasing rainbows or rainbow chasers is only 19th century, but pot of gold and finding the gold at the end of the rainbow is 795, like within the first thousand years. So Hmm. that that makes more sense that it's older. I feel better. Pot of gold, huge chocolate division. Remember pot of gold chocolate? Oh, yeah. And then it, and then it turned not it. I only remember that Christmas time. Pot of gold. Yeah. And then of course taste the rainbow. Skittles. Skittles. There's yeah. also all sorts of rainbow trivia. Wow. Useless. <laughs> well, speaking of this podcast, we should probably uh <laughs> useless. <laughs> we should probably head into the final final phases of uh Well, we only have one final phase as you know, and um I don't know if I'm technologically ready for it, but it looks like I am. Bridling is a game we like to play. It takes a two-part trivia-based question, requires a two-part overlapping answer, overlapping by sound, syllable, word, words. So, for example... Oh, that's a little, a little loud and tasty, isn't it? Taste the rainbow. Uh, so, for example, last week we, uh, we did uh, episode 174, Right as Rain, and we left you with this one. Everything is great for this luxury SUV. Did you get that one? Everything is great for this luxury SUV. I'm going to say right as Range Rover. That's it. Right as Range Rover. Luxury so right, SUV. That's a good description. Right as Rain, Range Rover. And that is how you play Riddlink. Good one. Well, I've got a couple prepared. I got a couple. Why don't you go first? We'll leave one dangle anna wing at the end. Here we go. During National Lampoon's vacations, he ran after the unrealistic. Well, that's got to be... One more time. One more time. During National Lampoon's vacations, 
He ran after the unrealistic. That's got to be Chevy Chasing Rainbows. That's it. Chevy awesome. Chevy Chasing Rainbows. Good one. Chevy. Well, let me go next. Um, I got two. I'm try- I was trying to decide which one should I leave for you. Okay, I'll do this one for you. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Star goes on a prism of hopeless adventures. I'll say it again. <laughs> National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Star goes on a prism of hopeless adventures. Uh, I knew I should have gone with Fletch. Droid. Fletch was my only other thing there. Did, that was my that was my Fletch? secondary one was that, Fletch. Me too. I, I bounced out of Fletch to go to. That's what I did. Oh my god! I'm like, not enough people are gonna know Fletch. It's like you're in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Chevy chasing. Should have done. Uh, chase the rainbow. Chevy chased the rainbow. Well, okay, I got another one here. All right. Don't don't be sad. Uh, hopefully, you don't have this one. Nah, I don't know. Uh, pursuing the impossible because it's made with prim- prismatic mist and mystical horses. Wow, say that one again. Pursuing the impossible because it's made with prismatic mist and mythical horses. Mythical horses. So rainbow chasing rain. Mythical horses, unicorns, Pegasus. Chasing Rain Pegasus. No. You, you, you've already said all the words. Really? Chasing Rainbows. Because it's made with prismatic mist and mythical horses. When something is made with... I'll just go... <laughs> it's it's uh, you, you have all the right, right things. Chasing Rainbows and Unicorns. With magical mist. It's rainbows. Oh, it, just rainbows and unicorns. Yes. Oh... Yeah. Rainbows and unicorns. Rainbows and unicorns. I get it now. Even when you said the answer, I'm like, yeah, I know. How do I make those overlap? That was the the big word. How do you make chasing rainbows and unicorns overlap? Chasing rainbows and unicorns. Oh, got it. (laughs) That's what I was going for anyway. I'm with you now. Okay. It's all all good. It's all good. Well, I got one more. Well, I've got a way for them to reach out for us. Villagetimate children. Uh... Drop us a, 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 me- a message of sorts. Yeah. You can... Uh, message for you, sir. You can DM us. Is that what people do? You can yeah, you slide into them. You can slide into our DMs. <laughs> All you dungeon masters. Wow. Uh, slide into our DMs on Instagram at the dot village dot idiom uh, or email us, the Village Idiom Podcast. Don't slide into our emails or whatever. What do we want to do to our emails? You... Uh, Send us some something. Bask in our email. Bask. Don't bask in our email at the Village Idiom Podcast at gmail.com or whether it's the Facebooks, the YouTubes, or the Twitters at Three Minutes Gone. Very nice. What's the final one here? All right, here's the final, final, final. And I'm quite proud of this one. A feathered idiom describing a hopeless pursuit, followed by a colorful idiom describing a hopeless pursuit. That's Wanna really that clever. Again? Yeah. A feathered idiom describing a hopeless pursuit, followed by a colorful idiom describing a hopeless pursuit. That is fantastic. And that is three minutes gone. Wow. That's a great. Do you, do you know what it is? No. Oh, okay. I love its architecture, though. Thanks. I, yeah, I, 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 I appreciate, it. I I appreciate the, the, just the construction method, Thanks, the man. substrate appreciate it. used to build upon oh, the I, idiom. You know, I, the Riddlings. I totally failed to talk about a whole subject. The reason. Chasing Rainbows stuck was because of a song, which I don't know why I forgot to talk about this, but it was a song written by Harry Carroll and uh, Joseph, somebody I can't remember now, and Judy Garland made it famous in the play um, uh, Ziegfeld, Zieg, Ziegfeld Girl, hmm. and it was covered because of this movie. It was covered up a bunch of times by famous old like somewhere Chinese over the rainbow. Singers. Here's just a tiny, tiny, tiny snippet of it. Hmm. Wow, that's Judy. That's interesting. So that song made it crazy popular, which is why the idiom stuck. I can't believe I forgot to talk about that. Well, I knew that's there a good was piece more, of trivia. More information than what I said, but it was well, gone from my brain. Well, it is what it is. I enjoyed that little lender. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Appreciate your support. <laughs> I feel like we were off this week. I apologize. <laughs> Whatever. I'm Skinny. I'm Jurassic Park. And these are the Village Idioms. Ready for this? Alice Cooper. Always
Sounds like a soccer. The last three minutes gone.